Many people are sad because the queen died. So maybe I just read you guys the story, and maybe they can also listen to dissipate their sadness a little. Yes, thank yes, you, yes, master. Thank, thank you. you, master. Thank you, master. So this story is also from this Jewish folklore, and uh, the title is "The Lonely Old Man Who Lost His Bean." <laughs> okay. Yes, master. You will know what kind of bean. You can hear well, right? Yes, master. Yes, master. We hear well. We can. The long, 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 long time ago, as long as you can imagine, there was an old man who was very lonely, and also not well off, under the poverty line. One day he was searching all over his body, all kinds of pockets, if he had any money, and then finally he found one penny in his pocket. Oh, oh. oh. wow. One penny. Probably at that time, one penny was worth more than one dollar nowadays. <laughs> 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 yeah, maybe. And he was asking himself, "I have only one penny like this. What can I do?" Mm-hmm. So then, uh, after thinking for a while, he went to the market to see all the things that uh, are raised in that market. But he had only one penny. What can anyone buy? Can anyone even buy anything that is worth any value? Uh, he was thinking, running around, and, but finally, in order to keep his mouth a little bit uh, less bored, <laughs> <laughs> he bought a piece of peanut candy. Oh, oh, okay. One piece, yeah. And then he was chewing his peanut candy. And uh, walking on the road, and then he passed the well. And at that time, in his hand, he has only one peanut candy left. Mm. And he wanted to, to put it in his mouth, but the peanut went astray. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. And you know where it landed in the well. Wow! Oh, oh, oh. oh gosh! Oh, this. Forest of the poor old man felt so terrible. And then he stood at the mouth of the well and looked down and screamed, My God, my God, my God, my peanut, my peanut is gone, gone. And he was very, very sad. And then suddenly the water in the well became like a circle, circle, circle and make a strange noise. Wow. And then a little devil popped his head out. Wow. <laughs> from that circulating water, his head appeared in the middle of this whirling water. And he said, Are you crazy, old man? Why are you making so much noise? Huh? Who can bear it? <laughs> so the old man said, I want to have my peanut back. So the little devil went and dived to the bottom of the well and tried to find that pinna for the old man. He tried all his best, but he could not find it. Oh. Yeah. So his head appeared one spot, and he said to the old man, It's gone! It's gone! Gone! (laughs) So the old man said, How? How? What do you mean by gone? Huh? I had really one peanut so clear and so visible. How can it be gone? Huh? So the little devil said, I have tried my best, but I cannot find it. But if you stop yelling and crying, then I will give you something better. Oh. Ah, So the old man asked, What do you give me? Hmm. So the little devil said, I will give you a pot, like a teapot or something like that. Yes, Master. Yes. I will give you a teapot which has magical powers. Wow. wow. Yeah. So anytime you feel hungry, you can ask this teapot to give you anything you want, even a big 
mountain of <laughs> penis. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Or any other food. Wow, that's wow. good. Mm. And moreover, whatever and however much you want, it will give you as much as you want. So the old man say, but what if you cheat me then? Huh? If you fool me? And the little devil say, no, 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 no. You know how to find this well again, no? Mm. <laughs> if I tell you a lie, you will find this well again, meaning you know where I live. <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> so here, take this teapot. If you think I fool you, then uh, you can come back here anytime, no? So the old man listened to that, took the teapot and went home. When he came home, he closed the door and immediately he ordered. He said, oh, teapot, I'm hungry now. And then immediately from the teapot, blown a lot, a lot, a lot of beans. Wow. <laughs> Not just this one that he loves, <laughs> <laughs> and they fell all over everywhere. So the old man told the teapot, "But I don't want that thing. I want a lot, a lot of food with a lot of vegetables and fruit, like grapes, cashew nuts, and all that." Ah. So immediately from the teapot came everything that he asked, and they were fighting hard. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. oh, and so much, so much that the old man could keep eating, eating, but he could never finish. Mm. Now he felt his stomach was warm and his body felt well. And then he left his house and went to the neighbors to just a uh, cat. All right. And what did the neighbors hear from the old man? Of course, it's about the food. <sighs> And some neighbors say, oh, I had eaten this, I had eaten that beautiful food. And the other ones say, oh, I also ate this and that very rare delicacy. And one of the neighbors say, oh, you don't know. The day before yesterday, I ate some baked pie and a very, very special one. It had some special rare things inside that pie. Yes. Not like uh, we make vegan mince pies or stuff like that. Yes, <laughs> yes. And one of the neighbors said, You don't know. Yesterday I ate some of the most famous foods in the world. And then after hearing all that, the lonely old man said to them, Ah, all the things that you have told us are only as valuable as the one peanut only. How can anything compare to the wonderful thing that I just ate some minutes ago? Mm. If you don't believe me, I will go home and bring all that here for you so that you can enjoy all this first-class food that you would never be able to eat without me. Oh. Oh. And even all the days from your birth until your death, you would never, ever said such a thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then immediately the lonely old man returned home and he went to pat pat the teapot and say, hey teapot, I want a big meal enough for five people and only the best things in the world. So immediately, of course, the teapot produced all kinds of delicacies. Nobody have ever seen them before, and if anybody saw it, they would immediately want to eat them. And then the old man brought all this food to his neighbors. And after just having first glance at it, everybody's faces became so bright, <laughs> <laughs> happy and smiling. And they asked, hey, uncle, where did you get these delicacies and so many like that so the lonely old man say oh all of you my precious friend just have peace from now on whatever you want you will have it i will bring it to you but 
you are not allowed to ask where they come from. It's a secret. Oh. So the lonely old man say, "Oh, all of you, my precious friends, just have peace, okay? From now on, whatever you want, you will have it. I will bring it to you. But you are not allowed to ask where they come from. It's a secret." Oh. At that time, there was one, one rotten, <laughs> rotten old woman, and uh, often chatting a lot. Who also wanted to join and eat together with them. So therefore, the only old man returned home to bring more food for her. At that time, she followed him Whoa. secretly to his house. Oh. The old man went inside the house, turned his back, and closed the door, but did not see that she followed him. Uh, through the keyhole, the old woman saw that the old man took out the teapot and put it on it, and then uh, requested it to give him all the food that he wants. He does not feel minutes. All the beautiful delicacies and rare food appeared in front of him. Wow. So the lonely old man put the teapot away and then uh, brought all the food to the neighbor's house so that she can also sit and eat together with all of them. So they were eating very, very heartfelt,ly and diligently. <laughs> 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 they demolished all the food that he brought over. And after that, all of them diligently say thank you to God. Yeah. And then they continue their chatting. But the old lousy woman, she went and sneaked into the house of the old lonely man. She stole the teapot and then she replaced it with her own teapot. Oh. After a while, the neighbors still felt like eating some more. And then they said to the lonely old man, ah, if we could have some more beautiful food like that, how wonderful will it be, eh? Mm -hmm. So the old man immediately returned home and prepared the teapot. But this time, the teapot didn't give him anything at all. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Of course, you know, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, he kept patting it however many times, but he didn't give anything. So the old man went crazy. He went to the, the well again, yeah? Mm. Oh. And screamed out loud, My God, my God, my peanut, my peanut. And then <laughs> the water in the, <laughs> in the well was boiling. And then it was making strange uh, noises. And then the head of the little devil appeared. He said, why are you so noisy? The old man said, I want my peanut back. And the, the little devil said, what else do you want from me now? Huh? I have given you the teapot that could even nourish you for the whole of your life. Deny? So the, uh, the old man got very angry and he screamed, You are a cheater, a liar. You just want me to go away out of your sight. That's why you told me about the teapot. It's not true. Yeah, I give this to you. I return it to you. It doesn't work. <sighs> so the little devil made a very good observation of the teapot and then said to the men, this is not the magical teapot that I gave to you. I'm sure somebody has stolen it and then replaced it with this normal common uh, teapot. Uh -huh. And the old man said, no, you, you continue to lie again now. I normally live alone. There is nobody in my house. How can anybody even steal the teapot? Right. The little devil didn't want to argue anymore. He dived back into the bottom 
of the well. And then he appeared again with another teapot. Uh. And he said to the old man, Okay, this is a new one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's better you don't lose it again, huh? Okay? I'm telling you, this one not only gives you uh, beautiful food, but even gives you uh, gold, silver, then jewelry as well. Wow. Okay, now, please, leave me now in peace. Give peace back to me. You leave. So, the old man uh, returned home, closed the door, tap out it, the new uh, teapot, and then from the teapot out jump a deity, a very, very black deity. Whoa. So black, so black. Like the coal from your chimney, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this black coal, you see, asked the, the old uh, lonely man, Dear Master, uh, what do you want me to serve you now? So the old man said, I want uh, a lot of good food, and I also want money. Yeah. So the black deity nodded his head and disappeared. And then after that, the teapot <laughs> produced a lot, a lot, a lot of delicacies, a lot of beautiful food. And then uh, a lot of gold money came out. Wow. Yeah. In the old times, people had gold, silver, and copper coins. Mm -hmm. yes. So this time, all the gold coins <laughs> came out. And then the old laundry man brought all those things to the neighbors and uh, give them food, serve them, and then give the money to them also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. You know, give the gold and the silver money to them. And seeing that, the rotten old woman was thinking to herself, oh, surely this old man must have found something even better than the one that I stole. Oh. I will check it from him again. So she did. Yeah. She sneakily went with the old man to his house and then hid herself somewhere, mm. waiting until the opportunity arose. And she stole also a new teapot. Wow. And then she gave him another teapot, the normal one. Right. The next day, the old man was alone and bored. So he wanted to enjoy a new life. He wanted some more money to spend, and then he wanted food. So he packed it, the teapot. Uh, you know already, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Nothing came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, after seeing that, he began to curse the poor little devil. Ah, you, the dead without a closed eyes. Huh? If you continue this way, I will kill you. Wow. Wow. Mm, he was so angry, just so he went to the well, screamed louder than before. My God, my God, my God, my peanut, my peanut. And then, of course, the water water up, made a lot of strange noises. And then uh, one little devil appeared. He said, what is it now? Huh? You make my head so painful. I have a headache. You disturb my peace. So the old man said, Huh? You think you can play with me? Huh? Okay. Here, take your teapot. Now, even if you give me anything else, I wouldn't take it. I want you to return that dinner to me only. That's all I want. So the poor little devil was begging him, pleading with him. Oh, oh man, oh man, how much longer will you continue to torture my mind like this? Huh? When will you stop it? I give you two teapots to make you happy from now until the day you die. And now somebody has stolen them. It's not my fault. What kind of devil is so... so so gentle, hey? Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> he must be uh, practicing meditation and being one 
to be disturbed so that he can continue meditating to elevate to a little higher status, you know? <laughs> so it's not good to be a little devil. Even just an old normal man can harass him like that. <laughs> 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 okay. This is the last time I give you one more thing, but this is not a teapot. It is a box that can uh, search and tell you who is the thief. You have to use it this way. You go home and invite all of your friends to your house, saying, okay, you're invited for an eating and drinking party. Then you make them sit together in a circle. And then you put this box, which can tell who the thief is, right in the middle of the table. And then immediately, in the blink of an eye, the box will jump up and run around until it sits on top of the head of somebody. Then it will stop. That person is the thief who stole your things. Uh, oh. And then one deity from the box will jump out and will beat that thief non-stop until that thief confesses his sin. Only then. Okay. The old man took the box home and did exactly what the little devil told him. The old man took the box home and did exactly what the little devil told him. He invited all his friends and his neighbors to come to his house for an eating party. But he didn't invite the old rotten woman, because he didn't really know her. That woman, she just came in by chance. That's why. Right. Mm -hmm. But the old man didn't know her, so he didn't invite her. But the old rotten woman knew about it. So she still sneak around and stood outside of the house, looking through the window to see what happened. What the old man has now, so that she can do it again. But through the window gap, she didn't see anything. No food, no drink on the table, nothing at all. But the old man put that box, which can know who the thief, right in the middle of the table. And then immediately that box began to produce a lot of nice music, singing, and dancing. Oh. The box was singing and then dancing the way he does, all the way up to the window. Wow. Oh. And then the box came up and sat on the head of that uh, rotten woman, oh. and oh. then sat still. From inside of the box, a deity came out, very, very black, very black skin. Oh. He was very deep, and he had a stick in his hand. Oh. Then he began to beat that old rotten woman until she became black and blue all over her body. Oh. And then she could bear no more, so she screamed, Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, I am the thief. I admit it. Oh. So the old lonely man said, Just admitting is not enough. You have to return the stolen things. So the old rotten woman did exactly what the old man asked. But she didn't stop there. Do you know what she's going to do next? No, no master. No, master. Don't. So, what did she do? She went to find the king and gossip. Wow. Oh. She told the king like this. Your majesty, what kind of king are you? Huh? You are the king, but you don't know that in your kingdom, Something has happened. So the king asked her, What do you mean by that? So the old woman said, Your Majesty, why is it that in such and such house, on such and such street, there is an old man who has many uh, magical things, and only you as the king are worthy to have them? Oh. Yeah. I am sure that they are your things, your treasures, and they have been stolen. Oh. Oh. So 
or the king sent the police to that house to take the lonely old man to the palace. Oh, ah, yes. And also brought along the two teapots as well as the box for knowing the teeth. And then the king confiscated all of them. Wow. Mm -hmm. Right. Confiscated them and threw the poor lonely old man in jail. Wow. Oh. Threw him oh. in jail. And, you know, jail is not something that you will feel comfortable and peaceful in. Yes, right. yes, yes, yes. Not. Meanwhile, the king used both of the teapots and they gave him everything he wanted. Oh. Hmm. One day, he decided to also use the box that will know who the thief is. Immediately, when he just put that box in the middle of the table, the box began to have uh, music and then songs and then the box began to dance around. And then, finally, that uh, box jumped on top of the head of the king. Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 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 okay. He asked for it, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> and then a very, very black deity jumped out from the box with the stick, yeah, and keep beating the king non-stop. Wow. And also scream, you are the thief who stole the two teapots from the poor old man. Beating and screaming like that at the same time, non-stop. Wow. Okay. Until the king ordered to uh, release the poor old man from jail and return his property. Uh. Yeah, and then the king requested the owner of the two teapots to tell him the complete story. So the old man said, oh, he's a poor old man and lonely, has nothing, how he lives a poorly life alone. But then uh, when he dropped a peanut into the well, and so and so and so, and then the... Uh, Little devil came out and gave him this and that. The little devil gave him all these things in, in place of the peanut that fell and he couldn't find. But the old uh, rotten woman had stolen them and so and so and so. Yes. He told everything. And then the king felt very interested hearing the story that the old man told him. Immediately, he ordered punishment for the old rotten woman. Uh, hmm. And then ordered the police to protect the old man to go home. Oh, hmm. From then on, the old lonely man lived a very comfortable, happy life. <laughs> 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 and uh, had everything. And he always came and talked to his friends and his neighbors until the day he left this world. Uh, hmm. Good. Good for him. The end. Uh, thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Applause. Thank you. <laughs> nice story. Applause for the old man. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. For the good story that the compiler has chosen. Yes, Master. Yeah. yeah, it's a very simple story, but you can think about it and feel like this world is like that. Everything we do has to be correct. Yes, Master. Yes, master. And we have to be content with what we have and not steal things from other people, or from neighbors. Even the leader of one country should not go and make war and steal lands from other countries, because there will be the retribution sooner or later. Right, yes. yes. There will be. And even if you don't see it in this lifetime, you will see it in hell, or in this next life also, after hell. You will be born into such a situation, such a planet, such a world that you will be chased, you will be killed, you will be wounded, you will be maimed, just like the way you cause it to happen to other innocent people, either from your country or from the neighboring country, because it is like that. If you plant an apple tree, you will have apples. If you plant an orange tree, you will have an orange. Yes, Master. Yes, that's right, Master. Right. 
the law in this physical world is exact, very scientifically and practically exact. And if the sin is too big, then it will carry on until the next life or first through purification in hell. And then you will be reborn as a victim the way you cause other people or other animal people, other beings to be the victim when you were alive, uh, provoking neighbors to make war or making a war yourself. Yeah, oh, that's 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 Sometimes the karma, the retribution, the punishment will not go directly to you yet, but it might go to your children or your loved ones, family members, or even your pets. Oh. In Vietnam, we say, uh, when you're older, you should do good deeds. Leave the merit to your children. And uh, we also say that if the parents eat too salty food, the children will be thirsty. Similarly, in the Bible, it also says that we have sins from the ancestors meaning our parents, our great-grandparents, etc. So, if it doesn't hurt you, but it will hurt your loved ones, then it even hurt you more. And sometimes the karma makes you that way. The devil arranges it that way. The karmic law arranges it that way. So, so that you get more hurt, it's more painful than even you yourself getting hurt or killed. Uh, I don't know if anybody understands what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, really deeply realizes the truth of it. For example, recently, the person who is the so-called uh, guru of Putin, the one who is mostly behind the invasion of Ukraine, the daughter died by a uh, bomb. Somebody killed her by placing a bomb in the car. And people say it's supposed to be for the father, Putin's guru. But then he killed his daughter instead. I'm sure this would make him grieve 10,000 times more than if he himself gets hurt. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's just one of the examples. Many other examples you can find somewhere on the internet. So it is better that the parents do good deeds so that the children will enjoy their life. And uh, it's not just about losing lives or getting a grave illness, but the consequences of our bad deeds, even from our ancestors' time, will be manifested in different ways. It's not just about the life that was cut short or accidents or illnesses, but sometimes it's manifested in a way that you would not expect. Yeah. Yes. Like we be great discord in the family, uh, a lot of conflicts happen within the clan or with other citizens or the country, etc. So anyone who really understands the logic of action and reaction or karma or karmic retribution, as you saw, so saw you read, would think many times before committing something bad because the ones who commit any bad deeds, any sins, are the ones who will harm themselves, first of all. <laughs> 